Hey everybody, the stationary engineer here back with a appliance repair video. Uh, today we have a Whirlpool model number WEGS730H0DS0 natural gas stove. Uh, the complaint is that the oven is not lighting. Uh, so when you press bake, start to process, press start, It is not advancing past this. And it's gonna stay on that low temperature. Uh, the uh, oven's never lighting off. So we're gonna open it up, take a look, see what we got going on here. So you can see I've gone ahead and pulled the range out from the wall. I have unplugged it. We need to get to the spark module, which resides back in here. So I have to remove this back panel here so we can get to that and see if that is our issue. Okay, so now that we've got all the screws removed from the back, we're gonna go ahead and pull this panel on both sides. Sometimes you have to kind of bend these little tabs in to get the panel off. And there's our spark module right there. Ooh. As you can see, we have quite the evidence of something going on here. And if you take a close look, I know the lighting's not great. Close look, but that is all burnt up inside there, so let's take a closer look. So looking closer at our spark module, it's not supposed to look like that. Those capacitors are completely burnt up. Obviously, we are not getting a spark like we need for the oven control. Uh, our stovetop sparkers are working, uh, but clearly this will need to be replaced. So a couple things to do before you remove it, remove the ground wire. Remove your oven temperature sensor. Remove that. Not quite sure what that one is. I can't remember. I apologize. Uh, unclip your Molex wiring clip here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull, the, pull that off and then disconnect that. So now with the spark module completely removed, you can see that is obviously well beyond repair. So we will be replacing this with original equipment parts, which is W1086096, which is the spark module. And that is your factory certified parts, original equipment. So just a couple screws to get this spark module back in place. Connect the wiring harness, connect the three other leads, and we will give this a test run. Okay, so I've gone ahead and disassembled the bottom pan. I've I've pulled out the racks, I've removed the bottom pan, just so we can see, check the function of our igniter, check the function of our gas manifold, uh, so when it all finally does start up, we can make sure that it is working correctly. Okay, so we are all wired back up. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back into the wall. Step around to the front. Let's go through with startup motions here. All right, there you go. Success. Thanks for tuning in to the Stationary Engineer.